Hello everyone. So this is a, a little tutorial video for Learn the Birds about how to create news and other kinds of blog posts. And before we get started on the practical stuff, um, I just want to take a couple of uh, minutes to quickly go over why we might blog, how we might blog, and some of the, the, the key things that need to be prepared in advance before you actually sit down and actually start posting a blog. So let's just get started. And excuse me if I'm looking all around. I've got two computer screens going here and uh, a mouse and a few other things. So let's look at, first of all, why blog? So one of the reasons is uh, that it's a source of news for the site and it can be used to share on social media and attract attention to the site because we want um, to get as many people with a, an interest in birds as possible to come to learn the birds and start making use of the things that we have to offer. It can also be a means to provide small uh, chunks of learning material and birding news to the birding community. So it's, a, it's, a, it's also a source of content um, that hopefully can have meaning for the birding community. Um, it can also be a, a means to raise awareness of some of the critical issues from the world of birding. So if we have people who have a background in conservation and we are able to bring together uh, bring them together at, at the site and perhaps create some uh, news and, and views around the conservation issues concerning birds. And then it also can serve as a marketing tool for other content on the Learn to Bird site. So for example, if you have a webinar, um, you can post that webinar as a blog post and then share that blog post on various social media. It's easier perhaps to do that than it is to share uh, directly from the from the webinar uh, page itself. So that's just some of the ways in which uh, you can make use of a blog. Now let's just get to two ways that you can do it. Uh, WordPress provides um, a, a built-in editor for creating content, which is called Gutenberg. So you can use the Gutenberg, the standard WordPress editor, to create your blog. But on Learn the Birds, we also have what's called a page build building tool called Elementor. And Elementor is absolutely fantastic at building pages. And uh, if you want to build your page, your blog uh, or news post with Elementor, that's probably um, the best way to do it. Um, but you can do it in the standard uh, WordPress way as well using the Gutenberg editor. You can actually even do it with the old uh, WordPress editor, but I don't have it installed. So if you want to do, do your blog post that way, let me know. I can install it. Install it. We, you know, we're not religious about how you create your blog post. The most important thing is that you actually create some blog posts. So what do you need to have together um, and prepared ahead of time so that when you sit down, um, you're not actually working online to do the creation. So you do the creation offline, get everything together, and then you come online to do the, uh, to do the posting. So um, one of those things is obviously you need a title for your blog or your news release. Um, <clears throat> you need a, a featured image. All of the news and blog posts must have a, a featured image. And we've standardized on a 1200 by 400 pixel banner shaped image. Um, and you can download some examples from the site and uh, um, I will actually make a blog post about how to do that perhaps, uh, or I will put a page in uh, the course for uh, content creators. Um, you need an excerpt, which is basically an abstract or summary of your of your news or blog post, and it's typically two or three sentences. It doesn't have to be long because the posts themselves are not long. So it's pointless to have a 700-word post and a 500-word excerpt. Um, really just two or three sentences is good. And of course, you need the text content uh, that you're going to post, and, and you should write that ahead of time, either in a text editor or in a word processor. Just bear in mind that if you create the content in a word processor, don't post it in the WYSIWYG editor 
without uh, removing the uh, the 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 um, word processor's embedded content first. So the best way to do that, and I'll show you in a minute, is in the little text box to the left, and not in the main content area when you're posting, uh, because that will strip out, which is what you want to do. It will strip out all the um, the nasty. Uh, Microsoft Word or whatever other word processor you use, hidden uh, content. So bear that in mind. Then you need your images or whatever other media you're going to use. If it's a video, you will need the video. Hopefully uh, the video is posted on another site uh, <clears throat> because if you post it on the Learn the Bird site, um, we incur a cost in delivering that uh, video. But if you have it on YouTube or, or uh, somewhere like that, um, that is a better place to put uh, uh, the content. And remember, because it's public content anyway, if it's in a news or a blog article, it doesn't matter that it's on YouTube. Uh, it's not like private course material that you want to um, keep hidden unless you've got uh, a user in the course. So that's something to bear in mind. Images, fine. You can have them either on, on a third-party site like Flickr or you can have them on, on the Learn the Bird site. Then... You need a slug. Now, that's not a little uh, um, mollusk that crawls around the grass. Um, that's a short. Um, um, that's a short piece of text that's going to be the link to your article. So let's just say that my my news piece is called "How to Blog," then my slug is going to be "How dash to dash blog." But if I have a really really long blog or news uh, post like you know, this is all about the something or the other that happened in the some place or the other, and it was a nice day and it was raining and it, yeah, you know, you, you don't want to have a slug that's that long. So maybe you could reduce the slug to be something like nice rainy day, and that could be the slug. So you type that in um, or, or, or add it to the, to the content when you actually create it. Um, not when you are busy working on the on the content, or else you go back afterwards and you you create it after you've typed in all the text and everything. And then, in addition to that, uh, you need to know what category the blog post is going to be in, or the news article is going to be in. Is it news? Is it birding? Is it photography? Is it news from the world of birding? Is it a book review, etc.? So there's some categories on the site that it's good to become familiar with before you. Um, start creating uh, content and uh, uh, but you know they're not fixed and you can always add your own category as well if you don't find one that's suitable and then tags um, you know these would be the tags that will be uh, uh, make you know let's say that you're posting about I don't know red birds so you'd have a tag called red birds and that would go in the tag spot you might also use birds as a tag and uh, you may use different things as tags, and uh, uh, if you look at the posts, you will see that on the right-hand side, when something is posted, um, there will be a list of categories, and underneath that, a list of tags that look like little tags. And then, of course, the author, which will typically be you, but you might be adding content for someone else, in which case uh, you need to know how to change the author, and I'll show you that um, when we get into the site. So, so that's, uh, that's, that's it for now. And um, I'm going to now go over to the site and just give you uh, some insights into how to create a blog. So bear with me for a second here while the, um, the little lesser jacana keeps you company while I open up my web browser and bring it over here. And you can see here's the site. Now, um, what we're going to do is we're going to create a blog post and put, post it on the site. And for that, I have created, when I get to it, I have created a mock-up um, containing dummy text and two images as well as my uh, featured image. So that's my featured image. Um, this is my text. And these are my two images. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is move this, um, move 
my file manager out of the way so we can get to it. Now, there's two ways we can do it. I've been building uh, menus here that will help um, people create content and navigate the site. So we've got uh, manage news and blogs, and then we've got posts, new posts, manage categories, and manage tags. So if you want to see what tags and categories are there already, you would go to manage categories, manage tags. Um, if you want to create a new post, you can do it here, or you can click on posts and do it that way. Then um, <clears throat> WordPress also has this uh, administration menu at the top here, so you can go to dashboard. And then depending on whether you're, uh, whether you're an administrator or, or, or a creator without administrative rights, you will see different things on the menu here, but one of them will be posts, and you can see all posts and add new. So you can either do it from the main menu or you can do it from add new. So I'm going to do it here. The, the end result is exactly the same. You end up on the same page one way or the other. So here we are. We're going to create our, uh, our blog post here. So this now would be uh, the Guten, Gutenberg editor. So if you create your title here and then you start uh, writing or type after you click on this text here, you'll be using the Gutenberg editor. Okay, so I'm going to just bring my window, my um, uh, um, mock-up text here. So you can see I've got Laurel Mipsum Dollar Sit Amit as my uh, post title. So I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to add it to the, uh, uh, add it here as my title. Okay, I'm not going to create any text here using Gutenberg. Um, I'm going to go to Elementor and you can see there's an edit with Elementor link up here. But before I do that, I'm going to set up the things that I, I've got down here. So what is my category? What did I say in my, um, in my post was going to be my category? I guess I don't, I don't have it, but let's imagine that this is news I'm creating. So I check the news category and then the tags. Um, I don't want to create tags uh, with nonsense in them, so I'm just going to say uh, news as a tag as well. Uh, it's kind of cheating a little bit, I suppose, but you can add more tags. Then I want to set my featured image, right? So I'm gonna go here, uh, and then you can see that uh, my image is not yet uploaded, so I'm gonna click on Upload Files, and then I'm going to go to my File Manager, where I have the image, and you can see I've got it here, blog, dummy featured. So I'm just gonna upload it here by dragging it over there. And you can see it's uploaded here. Now I'm going to, uh, and you can see that it's checked by default. So I'm just gonna make that set featured image. Now you can see I've got my title, I've got my um, uh, category, and I've got my tag. Now I need to put my excerpt in here. So I bring back my, my text editor here, and you can see that my excerpt is here. I've got it uh, labeled as excerpt, just so I don't get confused. And, and that's it, that's all I need to do. Um, that's all I need to set up um, initially. Okay, so now I can start editing with Elementor. But before I do that, I want to save a draft. Okay, so now you can see it's saved. Now I can edit with Elementor. Uh, and Elementor takes some time to load all of its um, bits and pieces. So just bear with it. Um, um, we are slowly upgrading the uh, capabilities of the site as, um, as it gets used. But to avoid having to spend uh, money on, on, uh, on the site, when it's not being heavily used, we will only um, um, uh, increase the, the memory and CPUs and things like that as it gets used. So it might be a little bit slow for me right now, but I'm the only user, so that's fine. So then I'm going to insert um, one of these structures here. You can have different columns, single column, two column, three column, four column, etc. So I'm gonna insert a single column and you can see that it's here and I can I can click here and I can configure its features over here, but I don't really have any features that I want to configure right now. 
It hasn't got any content in it. So I click on this little, um, whatever you call this little dotted square up here. And I pick what it is I want to add. So I'm going to edit. I'm going to add text. So I click the text and I bring it in here. So now this is where I start adding my, um, my text content. I'm going to just move, uh, I'm just going to move this uh, uh, dummy text editor out of the way here. Uh, and my screen has crashed. How interesting is that? Okay, here we go. I had accidentally opened something in the background there. So let's just move this out of the way. I'm going to move it onto my other screen. Uh, but you can see what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy this paragraph, and then I'm going to copy this paragraph. Then I'm going to upload this image, and I'm going to copy this paragraph, this paragraph, upload that image. Okay? So let's move it over here. And when I'm pasting text, I'm going to always paste it in here so that I don't get any of the uh, nonsense that comes with uh, word processor, cut, pop, copying and pasting from a word processor. So that's my first paragraph. Then I'm going to create another one of these blocks. And I'm going to add another text editor to it. And you don't have to do it this way. You can do it inside the, uh, you can do multiple paragraphs inside the one. I, I just prefer to do it this way. Um, so that's my second paragraph. Now, my next one that I'm going to add, after adding one of these uh, um, containers, is to go up to my little blocks here, and I'm going to add an image uh, block. So I bring the, drag the image block over here. Now you can see that it's telling me there's going to be an image here. And by clicking over here, I can choose the image. OK, so I don't have the file uploaded. So I'm going to go back to my, um, my file manager here. And I'm going to upload. The first one is the Mag Magpie Shrike. I'm just going to upload that by dragging it over there. Uh, you can upload them all at once, obviously. And then I just say, uh, for my alt text, I just type Magpie Shrike so that there will be some alt text for uh, someone who's reading the site with who's uh, visually disabled so that it, if they can't see the picture, they at least hear the alt text played. And then I insert that. So that's my, uh, my image. And I may want to add caption to that. So there's a number of ways that I can do it. Um, I can go here and add a caption. Um, so I'm going to add a custom caption here. And I'm going to just paste my caption in there. And that's it. So now I'm going to add two more paragraphs. So I'm going to create, um, I'm going to create another block. I'm going to add a text editor to it. By the way, you can also add multiple text editors to the same block as well as create multiple paragraphs inside the same text editor. I think this time I'm going to just do it uh, with multiple text editors into the block. So then I paste this in here. And you can see I've got my next paragraph. Now I can take, I can go back here. I can take another text editor and add it in after this one inside the same uh, block. So you don't have to keep creating multiple blocks. You can do it all in a single block as well. Um, so this will be my second paragraph uh, in this uh, section. Remember, I'm pasting it in the text box on the left here, not over here. OK, then I've got another uh, image. I can also add another image to here, but I just prefer to do it this way. Probably it uh, is less efficient uh, because it adds more code which makes the page take longer to load, but it just feels uh, better and gives me more control. So there's my second image. Now I go here and choose the image. I haven't uploaded it yet. So I choose Upload Files here on the top left. Then I bring back my, my file manager, and I drag over the image of the virtual uh, starling. And I choose to add the alt tag here again.
and I insert the media. Okay, so there's my uh, my Starling. Now I can go here and add a caption. I'm gonna the attachment doesn't have a caption, um, so I'm gonna add custom caption, and just gonna add virtual Starling in Botswana, and, and uh, there it is. Sorry, I accidentally opened the bookmark there. Um, and then I carry on by adding my last paragraph, um, choosing the text editor and copying my last paragraph in here, going over here, pasting the text. Again, I want to remind you, never paste here. Only paste over here. Okay? So that's it. My, uh, my, my post is done. And... Um, Hopefully it will look okay when it's when it's complete. So now I say publish. And now I can click the have a look or I can go up here and I can choose a view page from here. So I'm going to just choose view page from here because that have a look doesn't always pop up. It only pops up when you have something new. So now there you can see there's your blog post all done and, and dusted and ready. Now, it's, if you go to the, we, we made this into, in the news category. So if we choose the drop down from news and blog and we go to news, we can see this listed in the uh, news category along with the, the cover image. And if we click on read more, it will take us back to the, the post. And if I click on read more, it will take us back to the post. And you can see here's your, um, here's your uh, featured image. You can also post it to Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn. You can see that it was me who posted it on the 3rd of August at 2.30 p.m., and it's in the category News, and here are some other new categories here, um, and here's some uh, uh, tags, and you can see the number of posts in each of those tags, and then you can also see recent uh, news and posts listed here as well, so you could pick one from here, or you could go up here and see, oh, what's in photography, I wonder. So there's the uh, photography category. There's only one, so it just shows you uh, filling the whole page. And if I want to read more, I can read more. Now these images here are on Flickr, so the caption comes on top of the image, and that's inserted automatically when you put the link, uh, the embedded link into the uh, image on Flickr. But you can see that the post looks the same as the one I just made. And that is how easy it is to create a blog post or a news post on Learn the Birds. So that's it from me and the Lesser Jacana. Thanks for watching.